Dear Parents, Thank you for taking your time to learn more about parental control apps and screen time routine that can help you to manage your child's screen time. Firstly, we will be talking about two parental control apps, Google Family Link and Family Pact, that you can consider installing and using for your child. Both apps will work with both Android and iOS devices, and it will allow parents to keep track of their children's activity online. It will help to manage their screen time and block certain apps. Google Family Link Google Family Link can allow you to approve or block the apps the child wants to download from the Google Play Store. You can also see how much time your child spends on their favorite apps with weekly or monthly activity reports. You can also set daily screen time limits for their device. You can keep track of your child's device location. Lastly, you can lock their device when their screen time is up. It is very easy to set up Google Family Link. Just follow the three steps. Download the app. Create a Google account for your child. And lastly, link it to the Google Family Link app. Our Pact. Similar to Google Family Link, our Pact also allows you to schedule screen time, block a specific app, especially those apps that are not suitable for your children. You can block them from using it directly in the our Pact app. It also allows you to track their location, block them from texting. It is very easy to set up our pact. Just follow the three steps. Download the app. Create both parent and child accounts. And lastly, link both accounts together. As much as we want to avoid screen time for our children, engaging screen time is essential in our children's development. Moving on, we will talk about routines that you can practice with your child. I don't know how much screen time is right for my child. I want to implement screen time rules, but I don't know where to start. How do I make a routine work for my child? Do these three scenarios sound familiar to you? I am sure it does especially when screen time is unavoidable for our children. Let us watch a video on a guide for parents on advice and talking points with your child on screen time. Screen time refers to the time spent watching television, playing a video game, or using any electronic device with a screen, such as a smartphone or tablet. Typically, between the ages of 7 to 11, children will start to be more active online, so it's important to equip them with the right tools to strike a healthy balance between the time they spend on and offline especially as they start to get their own devices. Research shows that eight out of 10 children aged between eight to 11 spend almost 13 and a half hours a week online, often playing video games, watching cartoons and funny videos on YouTube. Parents tell us that screens offer a great opportunity for children to showcase their creativity but too much screen time can lead children towards a sedentary lifestyle lacking in physical exercise. To help children benefit from screen time, there are some simple things you can do to support them. To help them stick to digital boundaries, get them involved in the process of setting simple rules on how they should use screens in and out of the home. Choosing device-free zones in the home keeping phones out of the bedroom at night, and using free tools to turn devices on and off at different times of the day are just some ways to help children strike a healthy balance between activities on and offline. Make sure to model the behaviour that you'd like to see in them. Children tend to do what you do, not necessarily what you say. Get engaged and stay engaged in their digital life as they grow. The more you get involved and understand the things your children do online, the easier it is to gain their respect and influence what they do in their digital world. Take time to help them understand the risks and benefits of using the internet, whether it be discussing what steps to take if they see something that upsets them, or guiding them towards apps and platforms that will help them explore their passions and enhance their skills. 
Whatever device your child uses, be sure to make use of free and premium tools available to manage their access to age-appropriate content and review the time they spend on specific online activities. Help them avoid mindless scrolling and be more critical about the media they watch and the platforms they use. Encourage them to explore apps and websites that will complement what they enjoy in the real world and develop their key skills. Screen time guides for other age groups are available at Internet Matters. Before we learn how to set up a screen time routine for children, let us discover the three main points of the importance of setting up a screen time routine. Firstly, when you set up a screen time routine, you encourage the child to develop healthy habits. Secondly, routines will help children to have a structure and teach them how to manage time. For example, if they are allowed to only use the iPad for 15 minutes, and once 15 minutes is up, they will have to stop using the iPad. Lastly, of course with a routine, it can enhance cognitive development. Now, there are 7 easy screen time routines that you can easily try out. You need not try out all the routines but pick which you think is suitable for you to try out with your child. Daily screen time allowance, this will reduce conflict with your child. This can work hand in hand with the parental control apps that we introduced before. Weekend only routine. Screen time is only allowed during weekend. Balanced play. This could be similar to daily screen time allowance when you allow some screen time together with some play time at the playground etc. Homework first. This means screen time is only allowed after your child has completed his slash her homework. However, do be careful that some children may complete their work hastily just to use the device. So parents are advised to check the quality of the homework. Tasks first. Similar to homework first, screen time is only allowed after your child has completed his or her assigned tasks. Monitor only. This suggests that instead of limited the screen time, you monitor your child's screen or websites and apps that he or she uses. Educational media only. To ensure that your child only access educational media and resources. Thank you for your time and have a healthy screen time routine with your child.